Hello there and welcome to the Podcasters, presented by TC Weekly. This week, Decent Exposure Talks Movies, Uncovered takes a look at the DMT department, The Good, the Bad, and the Awful have something they like to call Nightmare Week, Food Ventures tries some food from Asia Walk, Impact Point visits Lambeau Field, and the How-To's show you how to take a nap. Hello and welcome to Decent Exposure, where today we talk about hearts. And mannequins. 55! Cut it. Hello and welcome to the show. Today we're doing a very special edition. We're doing kind of a Halloween-esque edition since we really missed the holiday season. We really dropped the ball. So we're going to uh, revisit some uh, scarier movies slash short films. So Caitlin, what is your Halloween-themed movie? My movie was Mania. Maniac. Okay, who is that? Is that what the one with Elijah Wood in it? Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't. I wouldn't picture those two going together, but I guess it does. So why don't you tell us about it? It's uh, he's a serial killer. Okay, that makes. And he he has a restores mannequins. He restores mannequins yep. and he's a serial killer. Okay, yep. and interesting. And he uh, becomes obsessed with this uh, artist. Yeah. Is she a mannequin artist by any chance? She takes photographs of mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, full circle. We, yep. We've gone full circle now. Okay, yeah. so um, what would you what would you give uh, Maniac on our scale of scariness? It's, it's gonna get a pass. A it was, pass. It was filmed okay. from his point of view, and like all through the movie, you hear him whispering to himself. That's creepy. It is. I didn't. I didn't like it. No. Nope. All right. So pass on Maniac. Don't watch it. It's not worth your time. So it's not gonna give you a scare if that's what you're thinking. So. Onward and upward. My short film, as it is, it's, it really is a short film. It's by Ryan Connolly, the guy behind Film Riot. You should go check him out, uh, youtube.com slash Film Riot. He's pretty cool. He did a short film called Tell. Um, Tell is about Edgar Allan Poe's story, um, The Telltale Heart. And it's basically just a re-modernized version of that story, and he does it very well. And I give uh, Tell a uh, buy, if you can just to support Ryan, but if you can't, just give it a watch on YouTube. It's definitely worth the time, and if you can buy it, definitely buy it. So, buy slash rent for me. Music! This week for my band, I chose more of a Halloween-themed music. Um, okay, cool. My band or artist, Respect. or kind of both, is um, Wednesday 13. Wednesday 13. Yeah, and okay. he's, he's uh, like a horror rock. He takes uh, right songs cool. based on um, horror movies, or he gives like his like songs like a horror twist. Like, okay, that's cool. One of his songs is Home Sweet Homicide, so. <laughs> nice. Yes. Isn't one of them, uh, what is that, The Party of the Dead? It's Till Death Do Us Party. Till Death Do Us Party. So definitely check them out Wednesday 13. I, on the other hand, went the other way. I did not do a Halloween themed band. Instead, I'm honoring a request from a person that emailed us, our good friend Ryan. Uh, he sent me Deer in the Headlights. Now, I do like Deer in the Headlights. He is very good. It's a kind of a folky, kind of acoustic kind of setup he has going. Definitely very mellow. Definitely check them out. Deer in the Headlights. And that's a wrap! Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. But thank you so much for tuning in to the special Halloween episode of Decent Exposure. Thank you again to Carl Delane, our longtime friend of the show, for providing the music today. You can find him at soundcloud.com slash Carl Delane. And you can also email us any and all requests for movies and musicians like our friend Ryan did today at decentexposure3 at gmail.com. Thank you again for watching, and you've, you've just, just been, been exposed. exposed. This week we talk to instructor Brandon Miller. My name is Brandon Miller. I am an instructor with Digital Media Technology, which is part of Business and Information Technology. So I went from a full-time job in video production, in, which has been my career for 12, 14 years since I graduated from college. So I've worked at TV stations briefly and then mostly at 
companies in internal video production departments making training videos, marketing videos, promotional type things. I went to school in Stevens Point, so University of Wisconsin Stevens Point is where my communications degree is from, and then the TV stations in that area are up in Wausau. So that's where I worked at Channel 7 and Channel 9, the CBS and ABC affiliates up there. I think one of the things that I have always enjoyed and especially enjoy as a teacher is that I get to, to watch things change. You know, I think that's one of the more exciting parts of this field. It's why I enjoy doing what I do is because there is so much changing technology and I get to, you know, just keep up with all the new cameras that are coming out. Anticipating all the updates to editing software and the software and computer technology that allows us to do what we do. The other thing uh, that I would say is that it's just fun to interact with people who are learning and, you know, obviously I have a strong passion for what I do and what I teach, so it's fun to interact with people who are seeing that and gain, gaining that same interest and passion. Last week we asked what was behind door SC362. We found a network relay station. Next week we find out what's lurking behind door SC371. Check back next week to see more behind the scenes of NWTC. This has been Uncovered. Welcome to the good, the bad, and the awful. This week we'll be having a... For the first one today, we're gonna to be trying wasabi peas. It's green peas covered in my nemesis, wasabi. It's commonly used as a snack. A snack. All right, the first one here. We are having wasabi. Wasabi peas, and I hate wasabi, so here we go. He hates it. He hates it. Oh, man. <laughs> It's like eating Cracker Jacks cover, covered in like death. spicy death. Spicy death. <laughs> I really don't like it at all. I'll eat spicy death. I'll eat two more <laughs> just so I can say I do. Goodness, this sucks. And next we'll be trying caviar. Salted fish eggs. Known as a luxury and a delicacy in many different countries. Let's do this, Leroy Jenkins. Is it, is it, is it French? We used to eat it in Russia too. Oh my god. The texture is so weird. I hate this. It doesn't look too much better either. So. That's you, you can totally taste the fish in it. No, I'm not smiling. It's going to be all over my teeth. It's salty. It is salty. It's, it's very, very salty. salty. Very salty. salty. Texture extremely weird. It feels like I'm crushing a bunch of little eggs, which is what I'm doing. And finally, we're going to be trying goose liver pate. Now, it's reduced meat and fat formed into a paste. It's commonly used in vegetables, spices, and herbs. Actually, this would not. This isn't that bad. This isn't that. If, it, if, there, if we if we had crackers, vegetables, or chips, this would not be that bad. No. <laughs> this is the best of. This is the best thing I've ever, like the best worst thing we've ever had in this show. No, so. no. The aftertaste kind of sucks. <laughs> the what? The aftertaste kind of sucks. No, it's okay. It's like in the teeth and like, I bet you, I bet you if you, this would be a good like ingredient to add into something. Like, I don't know, that's what you I'm Torin Goddardstead. And I am Perry Lee. And we'll see, we'll you, see next you next week. week. I want to say. Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Linda. And welcome to this week's episode of Food Ventures. Today we took a little walk on down to Asia Walk and saw what they had to offer on their menu. So, Linda, what, do you, what would you say about the restaurant when you went down there? Well, it's located on Oneida Street in Green Bay. The exact address is 2321 South Oneida Street. I'm next to Walgreens. It's in a good location. It's a small restaurant that's uh, decorated um, very simply. 
um, but very clean and um, the menu actually had over 200 items and I'll be showing that a little bit later. And off their unrealistically long menu, we chose one of the more popular dishes, which is the sesame chicken in a sweet and sour sauce with a side of fresh broccoli and rice mixed with peas, carrots, and ham. And then we also decided to get a um, more exquisite um, side. It is um, seaweed salad, and each meal, this was a combo. Salad. Salad. And then they came with egg rolls and then also different sauces, such as duck sauce and mustard and hot sauce and soy sauce. Um, should we try this? suppose we can give it a go. Okay. So, so. Well, as you would imagine, the uh, sesame chicken tastes a lot like chicken. And uh, I don't know, it's really good. I don't know if you've ever had sweet and sour sauce, but it's more on the sweet side, I believe. It tastes good. And how would you say yours tasted? Well, I was sampling the, um, the egg roll, and it, it, it was like a coleslaw in there, a little bit on the um, sour cabbage taste, obviously. But it's really good. Well, that concludes this week's episode of Food Ventures. Join us next week where we will actually be going over to, to Kieran Machalkin and see what kind of food they have on their menu, most likely Mexican. I'm Austin Deming. And I'm Linda Gonzalez. And this is Food Ventures. This is an all new impact point from Lambeau Field. Hey and welcome to your weekly blitz live from Lambeau Field. The Packers played a great game against the Lions last Sunday and ended up winning their fourth game in a row. Rodgers threw for over 250 yards and added two touchdowns, while Eddie Lacy ran for 94 yards and added a score of his own. I think he's the rookie of the year. And in other news, the basketball season just started, so be on the lookout for a great season of matchups. Alright, well now it's time for an all new weird wacky sport. This week we bring you a combination of it. It's part juggling, part jogging. It's called joggling. Joggling is a sport where you run around and try to juggle at the same time. I can't even do it standing still. These people run around and do it. All right, this week on The Dirt, we got some funny news. David Ortiz was found chugging a $100,000 bottle of champagne after they won the World Series. I guess you really can do anything you want after winning the World Series. All right, well, that's it for Impact Point this week. Thanks for tuning in to this special episode. Remember to tune in next week for an all-new show. And all right, well, let's check out this week's Impact Point. Hello everyone and welcome to the how to segment. This week we will be teaching you how to take a nap. Schedule your classes so you have a break during the day, preferably after lunchtime. For example, if you have a class that goes from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., wait to schedule your next class until 3 p.m. That way you can have a lunch break and have a couple hours to take a midday nap. Find a dark area such as a dark corner or a dim room. Less light equals an easier ability to sleep. Find a study area with comfortable furniture. Use your backpack as a pillow and wear comfortable clothes such as jackets or sweatshirts with hoods on them to block out light. With these tips you should feel well on your way to getting better rest and having more energy during the day. Thank you for watching the podcasters presented by TC Weekly.